And we are back again on that note, coming to you from the Nghaihab Cultural Village. And this is your show, Sankofa. Sankofa. Looking to the past to inform the future. That's the purpose of uh, Sankofa. That's your show here. And I'm joined today by one of our local artists in, uh, in uh, Namibia, a local Namibian artist, by the name Pro Boy Okocha. Ha! Bro boy, yo, please, yo, yo, yo. please, please, please introduce yourself to my audience, my man. What's up, what's up, everybody? Mm. Um, I go by the name of Pro Boy. Um, I'm here at um, Shangofa live mm -hmm. show. Mm -hmm. um, and you're also live on Instagram. I'm live on Instagram. Ah, Just go to the page, uh, ah, Pro Boy, you, Pro Boy uh, Worldwide. That's ah, where you can follow me. On Facebook, Pro Boy Okocha, mm. on TikTok, everywhere. Mm. Yeah, that's that's what's up. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's great to have you, my bra. Uh, by the way, he's also my colleague at work, and uh, uh, a, 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 a brother of mine. Not just because we work together, but uh, there's a bit of a relationship that we've built over the years. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, Pro Boy, tell us, man, how and where did your music career start? Okay, um, first of all, thank you very much once more for inviting me at Chankofa mm. Studio. Mm -hmm. um, I started off my music uh, career, that was way back uh, when I completed school mm -hmm. in Ochivarongo. Uh -huh. uh, that was uh, probably 2013, there, 2012, 2013, mm -hmm. after school. Mm -hmm. um, I, was, I, was, I had so much pa uh, passion in the music mm. uh, on making music, creating music. Mm -hmm. I had so much to, to offer in the music industry. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, I was still in school. So after school, I had an opportunity to showcase my talent. So um, mm -hmm. I did my first song, that was 2012. Um, and I uh, completed my first album, 2013, uh, Different Globe. That was my first uh, album. Different look. Different globe. Oh, different yeah, globe. Yeah, like different world. Yeah. Aha. And uh, second album, uh, Dreams on Paper, mm. uh, that was 2018. Mm. Um, my previous album, latest album, is A Capella, mm -hmm. that was released uh, last year. That mm -hmm. was the latest one. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's a journey. I've been on and off, you know. Mm. I'm, uh, I'm employed and, mm. you know, I have to you know make time for music and yeah. make time for work yeah how do you yeah. balance that how do you balance that <laughs> yeah that's uh basically the most difficult thing to do but because yeah. um i'm actually someone that likes um you know uh, i like inventing my own style mm -hmm. inventing my own music mm -hmm. even uh, in the uh, during the process of doing music mm -hmm. i don't actually like to copy i don't like to go with the trend mm. so uh, basically how i balance my um music mm -hmm. and work man um I, I i am very punctual with my time so okay. after work okay. when when i'm i have in all time i use it for the studio okay i do have a studio i do also record i do master mm -hmm. so but most of the time that i actually use for music is my off days right now we are off you know we are yeah off. yeah 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 so <laughs> that's <laughs> okay that's so you where, use your off time yeah i use my uh, off time to Basically, do the stuff yeah yeah to create mm. more music yeah mm. that's where i get more creative i have enough time mm. uh, to do music okay that's okay, basically okay. what i do i have to make time for what's important okay yeah bro tell me definitely has there been any inspiration from perhaps any family member that uh, that was in music that you that inspired you or where do you draw where, where did the inspiration come from or is it just talent exactly exactly i got my inspiration from um um, uh, popular artist, mm. um, uh, Kanye West, uh, mm. Jay Z, uh, mm. local artists like The Dog, um, mm. Exit, okay. but um, from my family, mm. the support um, is very good. Nah. It's very good because um, that's great. Man. Um, whenever I have something new, mm. they are always the ones sharing the stuffs and they are listening mm. to the music. They always, you know, give me that courage that ah, bro, you are doing good, brother, cousin, you are doing good. Mm. Okay, so we are looking up for your music, mm. and whenever the album is out, they make sure they buy the album. Mm. So that's uh, basically that's uh, nice, a very, a very um, encouraging uh, point when your family is supportive. 
I get because you. Because but then you know you are doing the right thing. I get you. Yeah, I get you. Exactly. What are some of your best uh, collaborations, man? Or do you do you also have collaborations with other artists? And yeah, so far, um, my best collaboration so far, I've collaborated with um, O Stakes. If you know O Stakes, oh, yeah, Stanley. O Stakes. Yeah, we did okay. a we did a song. Uh, uh-huh. and, and we did we also did a video for the song uh-huh. for that matter i think i saw that video man and uh i also collaborated with a um a popular artist uh, yeah. exit rockers okay. he is also this is actually one of my best album that i did so exit mm. collaborated with me also on the album some uh, on the song a cappella mm. mm-hmm. mm, it's out on youtube it's mm. actually a song that is uh you know mm. um it's uh, standing out Okay. You know, people love the song. Okay. It's a summer song and um you know that's mm-hmm. that those are one of my uh, best uh, collaborations uh, so far but I'm still uh, looking up for more collaboration. Mm. Yeah. Okay, by the way, uh, if we're done, please remember to give us all your links to all of your pages and and and, and where people can reach you, where people can get your music and so on, eh? No problem, no yeah, problem. Please, but please um, do that. for a meanwhile, mm. Pro Boy, Pro Boy mm. on YouTube, Pro Boy on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Um, TikTok, Facebook, mm-hmm. everywhere. If you search Proboy, P R O H space B O Y. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bro, what type of music do you do? Actually, for those that do not know, no. Um, okay, so I'm an African, I'm a Namibian, mm-hmm. so I do African music, I do uh, local, I do Afro pop, mm-hmm. I do um, Kwaito, hip hop. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do also gospel. Mm-hmm. Man, it depends on the mood. I can't oh. really <laughs> specify what type of music I okay. do. Okay. <laughs> I think uh, uh, t- for the purpose of my viewers. Exactly. Uh, I'm going to ask you to send me a small clip uh-huh. of uh, one or two of your best songs. Yeah. And we're going to play that in the break. Exactly. Yeah? No so problem. So my audience can just get a taste of no problem. what you're talking here about. No, no problem. Okay. Tell me, man. Obviously... Uh, all sectors of our economy have been affected by COVID. Mm-hmm. And um, surely the music industry must have been affected as well. Yeah. Uh, what, have, what has been the, 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 the worst uh, that the music industry has been affected? And how for the artists now, how do you guys cope after COVID? What has changed? Man, you know, um, especially I, I don't really depend on music. I do. Uh, music as a passion mm, mm, but mm. then um i you also at least. yeah uh, exactly but um for my fellow artists that mm. um have been you know surviving from the music industry mm, mm. you know during covid obviously there, there is no we, are, we have been in lockdown for some mm, time mm. there is no shows mm. there is no promo there's nothing there's mm, no mm. awards number awards and so on mm, mm. Um, uh, even if you are a business person and you are an artist you know mm. yeah, Definitely, directly or indirectly, you are being affected by the COVID. Mm. So uh, we are we are badly affected. But mm. uh, luckily enough, uh, the uh, uh, Nescom Nescom mm. has also provided some funds. Okay. I'm not sure if it's been you know, um, it, if it reached the artist mm. the right way or whatsoever. But okay. then there was an um, a news a news that, uh, it was out that uh, mm. they uh, have. Um, provided some fund for the artist okay yeah and uh that was now to 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 sort of help them out in this uh, difficult time or what yeah they say it's, normally uh, you guys get most royalties on the music that you we we what? get loyalty but that loyalty is it's maybe once a year so is it? basically it's not something that you can say i'm gonna sustain my family do, do, ah. um, through this loyalty from nescom but uh it, that, like I said, people that depends on the music, mm. you know, they make shows, mm. they have been booked for shows mm. to, to mm. get paid. Mm. They do maybe marketing mm. for them or any other mm. shows, maybe bars, clubs, and mm. so on, you know, mm. and awards, like I said. So it was very tough for them during the lockdown. It's a very tough moment for them. It was I very you. tough. I get it. It was a very, a very, very, very tough. I know, I feel for them. It, it mm. wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. Mm. Uh, and Nescam provided... Them, yeah. Maybe even didn't recover up to now. Yeah, it, it's 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 a hard thing, man. Mm. It's a hard thing because that's why Nescam came through and mm-hmm. they said, "Okay, guys, we know it's hard to do music uh, mm. during this COVID time, mm. and the, to keep the industry going, mm. we are providing you guys with this fund mm. to keep the music going for you guys to create more music." Mm. Yeah. Okay, now, pro. 
Um, tell me, what have you guys learned now from this uh, COVID upset that, that came? What have you guys learned to do differently now, not to be as badly affected again in such an event, if, if should, should such a lockdown come again? Maybe different avenues of a way to sell your music or what? Yeah, man, um, all I can say is, you know, music is business. Mm. And uh, my advice is like for people that really don't understand the market, mm. uh, um, for you to do music, you need to invest. Yeah. You know, when we talk about investment, we talk about business. So um, I can advise that, um, you know, people should also start uh, inventing into mm -hmm. businesses. Mm -hmm. uh, despite that you, are, you, you, you have a career to run, also mm -hmm. do a side hustle mm -hmm. for you to keep, um, to keep you going. Yeah, it during, shouldn't be only music. Yeah, at the mm -hmm. time that, that you are not booked for shows, so mm -hmm. at least you have something. Mm -hmm. I can give a very good example that of um, global artists or mm. international artists like mm. Kanye West, mm. Jay Z, mm. um, artists like um, um, what, do, what do I get? more 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 artists like international artists yeah, that yeah. are popular. They have a lot of business. They are they, they are running clothing, yeah. you yeah, know, fashion. Yeah, yeah, they are yeah, doing yeah. a lot and they are making and they money. Are that their brands. Ne? Yeah. Mm. yeah, those guys are millionaire and that is. I think that, dog, that, dog and stuff, man. Uh, dog, dog does that. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. He also has, has that. He's yeah. got his brand. Yeah, he has and, a brand. Uh, basically, that that helps in a way. Yeah. It okay. Helps. Now, perhaps shouldn't you guys be looking at other avenues, mm -hmm. uh, like iTunes and that? People are online. Yeah. And uh, music, in a way, has also evolved, mm -hmm. or our preferences as consumers now. Mm -hmm. There's, for example, no more CDs. Mm -hmm. uh, how can you guys, how or what can you advise others to perhaps do uh, mm -hmm. in terms of uh, keeping their music relevant and keeping their music coming? Yeah. Perhaps more radio shows? I don't mm -hmm. know. What, what, what do you think? Man, um, as I said earlier, mm. music is business. And like you said, now the music industry mm. um it's running from um you know it's it's, it's, it's a bit evolving. advancing mm. yeah it's advancing mm. and people are going digital yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, the only way to make money from music mm. right now currently it's if you sell your music online mm. online mm. so um, mm. i also recently um registered with um, itunes distrokit okay so my music will be um actually be available on tiktok Mm. IG, Facebook, everywhere, mm. on Spotify, mm. you can find my music there. Mm. It's, it's, it's actually a way that uh, how people are making money now, mm. globally, if you talk about internationally. Mm. If you want to go internationally, mm. you should go global. And for us local artists, I know we are very lazy to, to read, mm. you know, and uh, equip ourselves with information just to be informative of what's going on in the music industry. Mm. So people are going global. Okay. Yeah. How is the support from uh, ordinary Namibians to local artists like you? Um, Lolo, if I can be honest with you, is that um, it's very hard because mm. our own people, mm. you know, like um, I like your initiative that you are um, involving culture in the in the studio. Mm -hmm. Uh, our own people are not listening to our music. They are not mm -hmm. actually they, not that they are not listening. If they good, if if there is a good song or a hit song that is out, mm -hmm. everybody will play it. Mm -hmm. But then they are not actually looking up for local artists. Mm -hmm. You see, they are more playing on a piano. Okay. And every time South Africa has a new style, mm -hmm. you know everybody is jamming. Copy. On. Yeah, they are copying. Copy, not really copying, but they, they, mm -hmm. our own local people, Namibian people, mm -hmm. they are listening to mm -hmm. only international music. They are not paying attention to our local um, artists. I get you. You see, upcoming artists. They are you. more good artists. They mm. are more good artists, more upcoming no, definitely. artists. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. I recently had, uh, if I has, had a story to tell, I, I recently had a, a conversation with mm. a close friend of mine. Then he told me, no, bruh, um, you guys, you're just doing same music all over and what, 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 mm. what, what. Mm. So uh, basically just listen to my piano. Mm. Then I just asked him two questions like, bruh, do you know this artist? Mm. 
Mm. Do you know this song? Mm. Ah, I don't know. Mm. I told but that's a popular song. Mm. You don't know the it's songs because you are not uh looking up for your own people. Mm. You are only searching uh Davido. Yeah. You are only searching Banner Boy. Yeah. And uh, these uh, South African uh, guys that are now topping mm. PC and so on. Mm. So they they should also go uh, locally. They should also pay attention mm. to our music. That's okay. the only way to grow. Okay. But then does our music tell our story? It does. It does. It does. Okay. It does. So from your from your side as artists, you try as much to tell our story and to portray our way of life and our cultures and stuff in your music. Mm -hmm. Or is uh, are the lyrics uh, uh, kind of more in line with those people that you guys are admiring, the Jay Zs and the whoever? Yeah. Lolo, um, if I'm being honest with you, mm. lyrically, graphically. Mm. And uh, man, if you watch a music video of a Namibian artist, you can tell already what's going on. Mm. You see, like this show, you can see where we are. Mm. It's cultural. Mm. You can see what's going on. And mm. people from abroad mm. or people that are coming in mm. the country, they are more interested to know about our way of life. Exactly. Mm. So exactly. I'm, our music tells that. That's Definitely. an important point. Definitely. That's an important point. And uh, if that is the case, big ups to you guys, uh, really for telling our story because yeah. music is a vehicle mm -hmm. and it transcends time you know it it uh, it doesn't get old yeah. so it's very important the messages that comes through our music because that in itself can pull the crowds yeah you know? yeah 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 no uh it's good it's good it's good my man have you got any events coming up in this later in this year from your own or any city launches or yeah anything? uh there is a couple of perhaps we should come come back to that after the okay. break. Eh? Okay, no problem. No problem. After the break, we come back to hear more from Poor Boy. On that note, we are back with the second and last part of our podcast here with my boy Pro Boy. Pro Boy. Okay, Pro, pro boy. Tell me, uh, have you got any upcoming events you personally for? Mm -hmm. Uh, that are due soon or any new series any new work that you would want to market anything um so far uh i'm still waiting on it i actually had have some uh, at, um, events coming up okay. so i'm just waiting on the confirmations but um um i'm actually working on my fourth album mm -hmm. so i'm just recording at the so far mm. yeah Okay, tell me, man, in terms of corporate support mm -hmm. to local artists, we are having the NAMAS, we are having events in different regions uh, of our country, we're having festivals mm -hmm. like the Ongwe Diva trade fairs and the where, whichever festivals where artists perform. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, what, in your view, is there enough corporate support? Mm -hmm. for or, or or can we do better what what would you say about that man all i can say is um i'm just a little bit disappointment disappointed okay if i'm being honest with you okay you know um <coughs> most events that are happening here mm. in the coast mm. you know uh our own local artists from the coast are not getting recognition or they are not getting any opportunity to to showcase their talent mm -hmm. during these events People are bringing mm. the numbers here. They are bringing Miss Namibia. All other events are happening at the Doom. Mm. But they are not, um, you know, giving an opportunity for, for the coastal the artists, oh. you know, coastal oh. artists uh, to, to showcase their talent. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's the um, only thing that um, our, our uh, local, uh, I mean, coastal artists are being mm. are disappointed about. So that's one thing that we should do differently, or yeah, that the corporates yeah. should look into. Yeah, yeah. If there's an event in a region, they must make use of the artists of that region. Exactly. That's actually... An, At least a, two, three a, artists. That's an important point, yeah. bro. Yeah. And uh, because if you now bring artists from... Different only, regions. Only from Venduk, mm -hmm. you bring them here while they are artists here as well. It, 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 it sort of uh, discredits it's, yeah, it's the, other the other artists. It's artists discouraging the other they are, artists. They are working so we are, we, are, we are actually pushing and working so hard in the mm. coast 
mm. to to showcase um, our talent or to to you know to keep the music going in the coast mm. but then we are not getting that recognition mm. and uh um we are not we, we are actually an exposure also ne? yeah exposure exposure mm. actually A bigger but event yeah we are not privileged mm. to um events we are not privileged to maybe tv shows radios mm. so mm. it's mm. it's very hard to make it from the coast okay yeah so when people are coming into the coast to do events mm. to do whatsoever it's coming here mm. so they should um they should start also involving uh, mm. uh, the coastal artist i get you yeah i get you i get you okay no that's 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 valid that's a fair point i should say okay pro what is your take or what would you say why is it important do you guys as artists now as namibian artists do you guys work together do you guys support each other's work yeah there is there is there is support there is support we do collaborate with okay. each other okay um do you like buy each other's albums yeah yeah ne? we do you we do. do buy each other's album we do mm. yeah yeah that's, that's the only that's difference is maybe that you know um there's always that difference who is better than who who is mm. the no no no, no. that will that. always be there <laughs> that will always be there uh, why yeah. is it important why is it important that we young people mm -hmm. help each other and um it's very important because they say two heads are better than one mm -hmm. and uh, you cannot always do it alone you know you need to have support they there should be a support system somewhere somehow you need to have a team mm. working together you need to work together with people you need to have people that are supporting you why is it important you know locks it's very important because you know they say you can only you can only go um you can go far mm. when you are going with the with the team, team. Mm. but you can go fast if you are mm. going alone mm. so so helping each other makes the journey easier yeah it makes the overall work easier exactly so uh, it it even opens up avenues of you know sharing perhaps equipment yeah. sharing platforms mm -hmm. opportunities uh, opportunities well. yeah and uh, you can just mm. do better things if yeah, you if you work together yeah and sharing more vital informations mm -hmm. in the music industry i would also say you know helping each other for our generation mm -hmm. why it is important is it it brings us closer together yeah. you know especially helping each other cross culturally you understand yeah helping each other without cultural boundaries yeah you know without uh, mm -hmm. any any form of discrimination you know just by virtue of you being a fellow namibian yeah you know helping each other on that basis you know? yeah and uh, just because i can help you i am in the position to, uh, mm -hmm. to, to be able to assist I, I think it's important it's important that it's, we it, really it help each other yeah it is it is yeah. definitely yeah yes, definitely it is. because together we can do more yeah definitely bro why is it important tell me mm -hmm. okay i don't want it to be an interview <laughs> i want us uh, to to have no, a conversation we, we're conversating yeah. yeah yeah but um to give you a bit of a background uh, on sankofa mm -hmm. sankofa means looking to the past to inform the future what can we learn from the past you know past life ways past ways of survival uh, how uh, uh, africans used to help each other mm -hmm. be each other's keeper yeah. you know how that, that how we can yeah. what we can learn from, from 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 the past now in your view mm -hmm. i know this is a question that i didn't tell you that i was going to ask you <laughs> it's okay. um, in your view why mm -hmm. is it important mm -hmm. that we uh, as africans maintain or acknowledge our culture mm -hmm. and our traditions and uh, and our, our where we are coming from why mm -hmm. is it important for us to be conscious of who we are you know um to answer that question mm. you know in the past our grand grandfathers mm. used to know our culture mm -hmm. Yeah, um doesn't matter which culture it can be damara it can be nama it can mm. be bastard it can be what mm. uh, but then now in mm. the uh, modern world mm. you know 
we are we are falling out and uh, it 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 was even yeah no i think we are way very far from who we really are man. exactly it it was it was even more emphasized in mm. in schools mm. the subjects and so on mm. but um nowadays even if you have maybe a wedding coming up you have any cultural event coming up mm. even elder people will be asking okay now what should be done what can we do about mm. this mm. how is it be done you mm. see so we are not actually passing on mm. the culture from the old mm. um age in from, from the past mm -hmm. to the new generation mm -hmm. that's 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 so the there's a gap yeah there's a gap there yeah. which is part of the reason why i'm doing what i'm doing mm -hmm. to sort of uh pull my generation back mm -hmm. from the direction where we are headed mm -hmm. into you know we are at a, at a at a at a place where if our children can speak english very well mm -hmm. we see them as smart yeah we see them as they are they are very clever mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. definitely just because of the, uh, their the proficiency in yeah. english you know, and at and the expense yeah. of that kid's mother tongue you understand mm -hmm. so we regard we, we we disregard what is ours yeah and we see uh, our stuff as backward stuff and as stuff that wouldn't it's take us so it's on. boring and it wouldn't <laughs> yeah. take us anyway yeah. so we wanna look western mm -hmm. we wanna dress western American, we wanna yeah. eat dresden mm -hmm. we wanna marry western <laughs> <laughs> it's it's yeah. fact yeah so so part of what i do is to you know make us aware mm -hmm. actually of what we are really doing exactly and what we're doing to yeah. the future generations and 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 we we really need to get back yeah. to our roots doesn't mean we don't have to wear the clothes that we wear and we should now go and look for only ancient type of food and what mm. but just that consciousness you know of who we really are exactly that's what my pro my Mm. program wants program, to bring yeah. to the fore yeah you know? and then the other thing is uh, for us cross-culturally to get more interested in each other mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. start getting closer to each yeah. other yeah you know if i come to uh, uh by the way bro have i asked you also mm -hmm. about uh, to give me a vambu toby man mm -hmm. that can come sit here yeah. and teach me about the ovambo culture and ovambo tradition yeah so that I know as a Damara boy, if yeah. I come to a Vambu men's yeah. homestead, you yeah. Know, yeah, 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 yeah. this is the order. Yeah, Those exactly. are the kind of things that, 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 that the show is for. Yeah, Have yeah. I asked you? Ah, you didn't. So I far, didn't. You didn't. Okay. Yeah. But I'm we tasking, can get some. I'm asking you. We can get, yeah. I'm asking you to get me somebody. I'm can, on be a, can be a, a, a madam. Yeah. Can, can be a, a, a elderly man yeah. that is very knowledgeable about we can, or that on, can have a conversation. I'm on you know? it. So that we can, the Vambus must get interested in. Mm -hmm. the Chwana culture. Chwana culture the hereros yeah. must get interested in the nama culture you Definitely. know and the kavangos must get interested in the pastor culture Definitely. you know we should actually go to this san gubis festival yeah that, that is taking place that the pastors are having annually and yeah. you know just to on our level yeah. you know get closer together mm, just to yeah. witness and also learn what you understand happening. yeah you understand what can that do what do you think that can do in terms of our overall well-being in mm -hmm. Namibia as a nation? Man, um, you know, like they said, in Africa we are one. Yes. And we should we should stay united. Yes. We can only stay united if we understand each other's culture. Absolutely. For example, Absolutely. if I marry a Twana lady yes. or a Damara lady, yes, I should be able to understand what their is culture. their culture if Absolutely. i'm going to marry her and also she'll respect. be telling me yeah and also respect you know? exactly yes if 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 she has to tell me okay mm. my grandfather said we are going to do this mm. then i'll be like no in our culture we don't yes you know yes you know but it, if you know the other culture you you appreciate you know what exactly you will ap appreciate and you will understand the the process will be easier for you mm. as well because you'll be like no in my culture for example in our, in my vambo culture mm. a man a man does not cook Mm, you see mm, mm. a man take care of the kettle and he do other you know, domestic uh, mm. work mm. except cooking <laughs> <All that. laughs> okay but if you come to other culture yeah you it's know normal it's normal for, for a men boy also take cook. part in certain activities mm. that's supposed to be done by mm. a, a women mm. 
Mm. You understand what and I'm that's, that, to say? that speaks to the beauty in our diversity. How uh, it's actually beautiful how we uh, differ. You know. Yeah. Yeah. It and that, uh, there's another thing. If we know each other's cultures, mm -hmm. and if we begin to embrace our culture, if we begin to love yeah. uh, and uh, and get more closer together, ne? Mm -hmm. on our level, on our generation level, yeah. Yeah. then we will deal with tribalism mm -hmm. in another way. You yeah. understand? Yeah. We will root out tribalism. Because now I, I see you as a brother. Mm -hmm. Before I see you as a bamboo guy, mm -hmm. you know, uh, or, uh, or as a herero, mm -hmm. or as a bastard. Mm -hmm. You are a brother first. Mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so so that then that way with that mindset yeah we will overcome nepotism we will exactly. overcome tribalism yeah yeah and 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 to say that uh logs when i when i started um following your channel mm. i think it was the first episode you had okay with the satana lady uh no it was a damara lady with the, 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 the dress yeah, yeah, the culture, Bonita, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was a long episode. I follow mm. it mm. almost up to the end. You okay. know, I was so, I'm someone who is so interested into a different uh, culture, mm -hmm. different tribe, you see. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Maybe I'm conversating with an um, elderly mm. um, person from a different tribe mm -hmm. who will be telling me, okay, uh, in, in our tribe or in our culture, mm. when, for example, we are getting married, Mm. This is the process you have to do. Mm. This is what you have to do. And mm. I was like, mm. oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, I'll be like telling him, okay, in our culture, we, we don't mm. do this. Mm. We do this. Mm. We do this. So, mm. so it's, it makes it easier for you to understand Absolutely. the culture of different tribes. Absolutely. As well. It yeah. makes it easier for you to understand people better, yeah. you know, knowing Definitely. their culture. Yeah. You know, and that's the beauty in it. The, mm. the diversity really is beautiful how we differ and that's the design of life we yeah. are designed to be different <laughs> yeah. you know we've got different upbringings we've got different uh, uh, pasts yeah you know so we will be different and it is really just for us to embrace that and um, okay so are we gonna go to this year's ongo diva trade fair we must the olufuko man yeah me and uh Pinyas had to go to the uh, olufuko we were, we wanted to I but uh, we must it are you gonna go to the Ongo Diva Trade Fair? Exactly, man. I have to. I have ne? to. Yeah. I made it a point, bra. This <laughs> year, I wanna, I wanna attend as many cultural events yeah. as possible, and then we go to the event, uh, to the Ongo Diva Trade Fair. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's gonna be now my. Uh, there's a there's a Herero cultural event also coming up. Okay. I saw uh, some communication on on WhatsApp yesterday. I can't remember. It's a red flag thing, I think. Mm -hmm. It's a red flag. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's coming up. I, I'll just check the dates. I'll yeah. just check the dates, and then there is. Uh, we will. We will. We will get a crew. Exactly. Ne? And, and, uh, then we go to these events. Yeah. Pro. Pinias also. Uh, he said, "Yeah, no, he's interested in the, uh, in the cow fears, yeah. of the damaras, <laughs> uh, and so on." So we we we, we will gather a crew. We must yeah. we must do that, man. Exactly. We must gather. Luckily, we are on the same shift. We are on the same off days, and so on. Yeah. So we can plan, and we go to these events. Yeah, and to make it easier for you, Lord, uh, Lolo, if you mm. attend the Pongodiva event, mm. it's also you, we must go with the channel. We go set up the <laughs> podcast there, my man. Yeah. yeah, it's easy for you to get even somebody that understand the, the the culture more. Definitely, you will get more um, informations. Definitely, yeah, about Definitely. Uh, the bamboo culture. Definitely, bro. Yeah, yeah. And then I can share that with my viewers. Exactly. You know? exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's gonna be great, man. Yeah. And we come, we come to the Gaup Festival also in Okombai. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. to the Gaup uh, Festival. That's now the Damara Festival. Mm -hmm. And I think it's also held annually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we we gonna go there. We are gonna set up the podcast there again, uh, and we are gonna talk to people there. You know, yeah. just to experience what is the Gaup Festival about, mm -hmm. and then uh, who wants to come on set? We want to tell our viewers yeah. what is happening here What's and so on. Yeah. So we're gonna make it nice, man. And uh, we won't stop there. We'll follow up. We will follow through next next year. We must uh, also again the Pastor Festival for this year. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna attend these things, man, and we're gonna show interest and we're gonna tell our story. Ne? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, boy, yeah, boy, yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Okay, pro. Is there anything else, my man? Before we call it a day, that you would maybe want to, you can talk directly to my viewers there. That's your camera right there. Okay. If there is anything from your side that you would want to share at this point. Once more time, mm. my name is Pro Boy. 
I'm, I'm reintroducing myself. Thank you very much. My, I'm very humble. Or let mm -hmm. me say, <laughs> I appreciate from the bottom of my heart for yeah. uh, for the invitation, for inviting me into the program, Sangofa. Okay. Um, follow it on. Um, yeah, we, no, we, we we are, all we are over, on, my man. TikTok. TikTok, YouTube. Instagram, YouTube, yep. you know, follow the channel, mm. like, um, and share. Subscribe. Yeah, you can uh, as well find my music on Spotify, Okay. Um, uh, YouTube, Instagram, mm. Facebook, mm. TikTok, elsewhere, mm. Pro Boy, P R O H, mm. e uh, space B O Y. Mm. Follow me, I'll follow you back. Mm. That's what's up. Okay, Pro Boy. Mm -hmm. I forgot a question that I ask all of my viewers, uh, my. Um, guests yeah i've got a guy there who wants to go into music yeah. wants to start his music career yeah what is that golden advice that you would give somebody who wants to pursue a mm -hmm. career in music mm -hmm. and what would you have done differently in your mm -hmm. startup process that you can that somebody can learn something from first of all marketing strategy mm -hmm. learn Mm. the music market mm. learn the marketing strategy mm. and um, secondly mm. you should equip yourself equip yourself with more um, information learn programs mm. Mm. find yourself somewhere they you know looks there are a lot of artists mm. that um, maybe a person is not really an artist it's mm. not a recording it's not good at maybe uh, recording or doing music mm. but that person is is an is an artist mm in a different form like maybe okay. he could be a photographer okay he could be maybe uh, doing something fashion mm. fashion a different so form of art exactly mm. so just learn more skill learn okay. more skill mm. for you to make money from your talent mm. you know, instead of just saying okay i'm just an artist mm. find my music where where and you know mm. learn it's it's a way like for me you know I, I'm, a, I'm a producer. I do also produce. I do okay. my own music. You mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. I can do my music at any time. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and um, it makes it quite easy for me to do music. Mm -hmm. So just learn the market, mm -hmm. marketing strategy, mm -hmm. learn skill, mm -hmm. learn um, equipments, mm -hmm. guitar, piano. Okay. Learn programs mm -hmm. on how to produce and so on. Instead mm -hmm. of just being there waiting to pay for a producer mm. while you have enough time to learn the programs mm. and actually do your own music okay. or do your own music video and and so on okay yeah that's that's the mistake we we did in the past and i believe i could have done mm. uh, a better i could even take a year off to say okay in this year mm. i'm gonna learn probably how to do music video i'm mm. gonna learn how to how to produce mm. and 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 um, i like giving an example um, for example, Kanye West. Mm. Kanye West is a, is a producer. You like he, Kanye West? <laughs> he's one of the guys that inspired me. Okay. He's a producer as well. He produced a lot of albums. He even produced for Jay Z and so on. Mm. So this guy has been trending and he has been in the music market. Mm. He understands the music. It's even easy for you to come to a producer and mm. say, "Man, I need this type of song." Mm. You can even guide him. Mm. So it's easy for you to do music. Mm. Learn the music market. Pro boy. Thanks a lot, my man. Sharp. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Hopefully, we'll have you back in studio uh, sometime again. Thank you, man. And yeah. Thanks, my man. Thanks, thanks, sure. thanks so, so much. Sure. On that note, we have come to the end of yet another exciting uh, podcast session with my boy here, Pro Boy. And uh, my sincere appreciation to all my viewers, subscribers, the Sankofa family out there. What we do is for you. So it's up to you just to consume the content, to comment, uh, and uh, what would you like to us to do differently? What would you advise us? You know, it's, uh, you're always welcome to, to comment in the descriptions below on Facebook. Comment, engage, and uh, talk to us. On that note, thank you so much for having tuned in, and uh, see you at the next podcast.